we already know what is a transfer function. In the last lecture, we saw the definition and explanation of transfer function and in this presentation, we will solve the problems related to the transfer function. More precisely, we will calculate the transfer function for the given system relationship. So let's move to our first problem. In this problem, yt is equal to xt minus 1 plus 5. This is the system relationship and we are required to calculate the transfer function hs and to calculate the transfer function we need to take the Laplace transform of the system relationship. So we will take the Laplace transform and after taking the Laplace transform we will have ys which is the Laplace transform of output yt equal to xs multiply to e raised to power minus s the Laplace transform of xt minus 1 is xs e raised to power minus s now the Laplace transform of 5 is infinity if you remember the lecture prerequisites for LTI systems in which I explained the Laplace transform we calculated the Laplace transform for 2 we calculated the Laplace transform for 2 and we got infinity in the same way when you calculate the Laplace transform of 5 you will get infinity and we can generalize this the Laplace transform of any DC value is equal to infinity so the Laplace transform of double sided double sided power signals do not exist it is equal to infinity infinity is undefined infinity is undefined so the Laplace transform of DC value or any double sided power signal is undefined it is equal to infinity so the Laplace transform do not exist when you plot the waveform of any DC value you will find it is a double sided signal ranging from minus infinity to infinity and it does not rises it does not rises along with the time or it does not decays along with the time and therefore it is a power signal so this point is important and now I will modify the system relationship instead of having yt equal to xt minus 1 plus 5 we will have yt equal to xt minus 1 plus 5 ut and now you can calculate the Laplace transform of this term so after taking the Laplace transform we have ys equal to xs e raised to power minus s plus 5 over s this is after taking the Laplace transform now can you calculate the transfer function the transfer function hs is equal to Laplace transform of output over the Laplace transform of input can you separate xs from the right hand side of this equation you cannot even if you want to divide ys by xs you will have ys over xs equal to e raised to power minus s plus 5 over xs s so xs is not separated so you cannot say you have ys over xs because xs is still left in the last term so the transfer function calculation is not possible and it is not possible because the system here is non LTI system and if you remember the last few lectures I have already told you the transfer function and the impulse response is only used for LTI systems they are not valid for any other system because you cannot calculate them for example in this case the system is non LTI system and you can see we cannot calculate the transfer function the system is non LTI because we have 5 here 5 is the added term and whenever there is any added term the system is non linear it is definitely time invariant because the coefficients we are having in this relationship are constant and we don't have any time scaling and also the added term is constant so it is time invariant but it is non-linear therefore it is non-LTI so I hope you now understand why we use transfer function and impulse response only for LTI systems because they do not exist for any other system we cannot calculate them now let's move to the next problem problem number two in this problem 
y t is equal to x to t this is the system relationship and we are required to calculate the transfer function so let's take the laplace transform of the relationship it will give us y s equal to 1 over 2 x s over 2 now here also you cannot get y s over x s here we have x s by 2 you cannot get x s therefore the transfer function calculation is not possible the transfer function calculation is not possible and it is not possible because the system is non-LTI now from next time don't go on calculating the Laplace transform directly first check if the system is non-LTI or LTI here we have the time scaling we have the time scaling the linearity of the system is unaffected because of time scaling so the system is linear but the time invariant system should not have any time scaling and here we have time scaling therefore it is time variant system and overall we can say that it is non LTI system now we will move to the problem number 3 in the problem number 3 y t is equal to x t minus 2 plus x t plus 2 we already know the Laplace transform of x t minus 2 and x t plus 2 so we will take the Laplace transform it will give us y s equal to x s e raised to power minus 2 s plus x s e raised to power plus 2 s we will take x s common from the two terms it will give us y s equal to x s inside the bracket e raised to power minus 2 s e raised to power 2 s now we will divide both the sides by x s it will give us y s over x s equal to e raised to power minus 2 s plus e raised to power 2 s y s over x s is our transfer function so the transfer function is equal to e raised to power minus 2 s plus e raised to power 2 s now if you want to calculate the impulse response simply take the inverse Laplace transform you will have the impulse response and it is equal to delta t minus 2 plus delta t plus 2 so this is the complete process and in this case the system is LTI system because it satisfies all the conditions for a system to be linear and time invariant now we will move to the homework problem of this lecture there is only one homework problem and in this relationship is like this y t is equal to integration minus infinity to t x tau d tau and you are required to calculate the transfer function and if possible also calculate the impulse response so i will end this lecture here if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section from the next lecture we will discuss what is the impulse response and the convolution theorem